Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at something rather impressive and very small, and that is the Hercules exosuit, which is this lovely thing standing behind me. It's a unmodded, unscripted vanilla design that utilizes hinges in order to make it walk across a surface. It's a very well done thing. Anyway, pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is, the Hercules exosuit is 65 small blocks using no DLC packs, no scripts, and of course no mods, and there's a little blurb all about it. So what we're going to do is have a quick look around the outside, and then we're going to have a play with it and see how it handles. Now it's got a few moving parts on it where we can close the canopy where we sit in to make sure we're nice and protected, and it does have quite a fun running animation, which does get very wonky thanks to that gyroscope but you'll find out about that a bit later. Anyway, coming all the way around over to here, this is what we get. We've got a small block control seat, which is how we're going to drive this thing, and just above that, we got ourselves our canopy, which would be deployed all the way down to keep us nice and protected. It's simply a cargo container with some window blocks and some steel blocks in a nice white color. Coming all the way down, we'll be able to see a gyroscope, which is how we're going to keep this thing nice and balanced, because we are going to be very wonky when we walk with these types of things. So we need to use our mouse to keep ourselves from tipping over when going over a slightly wonky surface. On our left and our right, we can see we've got some rotors coming across onto hinges, onto batteries, onto some more hinges, onto some Gatling guns. And yes, we can use those Gatling guns to blast your enemies away if you get close enough to be able to shoot them with this thing. For our legs, once again, we've got some rotors that come across onto some blast door blocks, onto some hinges, onto some more hinges, and then onto some unfinished blocks. And this is how we're going to walk across our uneven surfaces and hopefully not tip over. If we were to come around the side here, we're going to see how that's all connected up with the arms and the legs. So there's the hinges onto the batteries, onto the rotors, and there is the legs down there. We've got ourselves another gyroscope which sits just below us, and all the way around to here, we got ourselves our timer block. The timer block is how this thing is functioning without scripts or a mod. So it's been very well put together with that. Then all the way around to the back, we then have this thing right here. So we got a thruster because we can do some flying. It's not too great, it's not a ship, but it's more for getting up a cliff edge to get to your enemies or to scale to the top of someone's base and blast through a door and rip them to shreds. Just above that, we've got ourselves a block, this orange and black setup, which is sitting on a rotor, which will spin around for some extra decoration. And of course, we've got a sensor block right there, which I'm not too sure what it's currently doing, but I think it's there for decoration. Yes, we come up and above, we'll be able to see the hinge, which is going to be connected onto our canopy. That'll be connected all the way across onto here to our reactor. I think I called it a cargo container earlier. That was my mistake. Anyway, coming all the way down and below, this is what we get. We can see both our gyroscopes right there and the bottoms of our legs. And there is our thruster at the back with the timer block right there. Well, that all done and out of the way. It was very quick and easy. Very easy to see how this has all been set up. It's time for me to grab my character and we can head on inside. So we can easily just walk up to the seat and press F to get in. And now we can press number four, which will then deploy the canopy, switch everything on, and the little thing at the back will start spinning around. So there we go. In first person view, looking around, this is what we get. Then we press four again, we can lift that all the way up, and now we can easily get in and out, and it's a lot more fancier than just snapping in. Our guns as well will be tilted all the way forward, so if we do that again, they go across because we're neutral and not being used, and then pressing four again, they'll go into a more ready position to shoot your enemies. As for the other controls, let's go for number two first, and this will be to fire our Gatling guns. So just doing that and a left mouse clicking will then shoot. I am shooting floor currently, but that is because I am on a slope on the Mars planet. But there we go, we just shoot that all the way forwards, and we've got a fairly good view of that from the cockpit. For number one, this is going to be how we're going to move this across the surface. Now, get ready for this, because this is going to go fast. So pressing number one, we're going to start running. And yes, thanks to those rotors and hinges, we are going to very wonkily run across the surface. And it's so well done that it's done like this. Considering block destruction is turned on, we haven't had any clangs yet. And we are just going to run along the surface. But we do have to use our mouse 
to make sure we're not going to tip over. So if I came like this, we can then do a backflip. It's a bit wonky, but there we go. We've now done a backflip up a hill. And this will just keep walking along until we switch it off and then it will go back to its neutral position like so. We do slide along a little bit and we will have to use our mouse to keep ourselves balanced. And now we're ready to go. We can open that up and hop out. But what about button number three? So pressing that, we will go to a more neutral position where our legs will then become free and our thruster will turn on. And we can now boost along and we will just sort of float along quite a bit like so in case we needed to do that. If we don't want to use our legs, we can use this as some kind of hovercraft. So, yes, turning that off, our legs will go back to their straightened out position and are ready to run once again. That is pretty much it for the Hercules exosuit. It's a fantastic little thing to play around with and how it's been set up is rather ingenious with all the hinges and rotors. Yes, we'll go for one last little run across the surface like so. And yes, we'll just keep going along and nothing has broken yet, so this is very, very impressive. In fact, we can come over to this one that I spawned in earlier, and we can try and blast it with our guns. Now, it appears that another mod that I was going to showcase has seemed to have activated, and we've got tracers. So that's a spoiler for the next video. But yes, that is it for the Hercules Exosuit. It's a fun little thing to play around with in case you want to use some kind of mech in your world. There will be a link to it in the description below, and I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.